Hello, my name is Ferdi Korpshoek and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create something like this. In order to do that, go to the internet and go to the file in the description below this video. I have mine over here. We are going to download a world map vector. Download it. Don't log in, just say, not right now, just download it. I save this file. I open it in Finder, double click, there comes a map and therein is worldmap.eps. I open it with Illustrator. There it is. I'm going to select everything, Command or Control A, copy it, new file, I make it full HD 9020 by 1080, OK, and I paste it. Then I want to drag it and scale it. I press Alt, so it will scale from the middle, from the center. And make it something like this. Bring it up a little bit because we don't have Antarctica on this map, but it is there in the real world. Like this, amazing. And what I want to do, I want to invert this mask. So we select it, it's the world that's selected. Actually, I want to select the C. So I'm going to make a new rectangle, a different color, make it blue. I select the whole fell, 9020 by 1080, and I drag it below the group in the layer. I select them both. I say Command A, go to Window, Pathfinder and say exclude. Right now we inverted the mask. So this is the world map mask. We can change the color to um, blue for now. I'm going to lock this and disable it for view. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to create the video screens for the world where I want to show it. I'm going to create a new layer and call this blocks. I'm going to the rounded rectangle tool, click it once and make the wide 80, the height 45 and the corner radius 7, like this. I'll make the color black, deselect it and bring it up to the left upper corner. I'm going to Object, Transform, Move, select a zero and zero. Preview needs to be turned on and I'm going to the horizontal position and make it 83.4. So there will be a wide gap of 3.4 pixels between every black block. I say copy and then to repeat the same Action, press Ctrl or Command D, like this, until you reached the end point over here. Okay, that was okay. I select it all, Object, Group, Command G, and I go to Window, Align, and bring it to the middle. It needs to be, you need to show the extra options, show options, Align to artboard and say align object horizontal align center yes then I ungroup this shift command G and I'm going to transform move and this time no horizontal copies but vertical 48.3 preview make a copy and this can take some time and effort for your computer. But in this case, we're also going to duplicate it until we reach the bottom of the file. And one more. Yeah, that's it. Select everything. Make it a group. Okay, 
You see a little white space, but that's no problem because there's no country over there. If you look here. What we need to do, remove this and bring the blocks under the world map. And deselect everything. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to lock this. Command A, select everything. Change the color to white. And this is what we want in Cinema 4D. Well, there are ways, as far as I know, where you can select everything, go to Pathfinder, say exclude. But you know, it doesn't work totally the way I want it, so I'm going to do, I'm going to save this file, save it as world map blocks. Open Photoshop. Oh, over here. Say OK. I'm going to open Photoshop. And open the file. We just saved from Illustrator. And open it really big in Photoshop. 8000 by 4500 in 300 resolution. I open it. I go to the selection tool, I drag a little bit and then I go to select similar and it will select all the similar colors, all the whites like this. And then I go to full resolution and I'm going to select again, refine edges and this is how the edge will look. In my opinion, it looks amazing. The output will be a selection. Okay. And then I delete the selection. And exactly this is what we want to bring into Cinema 4D. I'm going to save this as worldmapblocks.psd. I'm going to Illustrator again open a new file with this same settings, say OK and then I bring this from the desktop, the PSD file into the file, bring it to the right points like this and I say object, image trace, make and expand. It's going to change this PSD file with pixels into a vector image and it can take some time. This is it. So I say save as world map blocks C4D. I save it and now I have to save it as a Illustrator 8 version. That's the only version that Cinema 4D can accept. So say OK. Go to Cinema 4D, file, merge and then grab this one, which we just made. Open it, no scaling, say OK. And here it is. Click on the world map blocks, no object, go to coordinates and bring this all to zero, zero. So it will be in the center. What Illustrator did, it made two exactly the same layers. So if we open this, you can see it's second group. We're going to keep the second group and the first paths, all these one, we're going to delete. And this one, I'm going to get out of this group. So select everything and bring it under world map. Then delete the group. I want to get rid of the frame over here. It's path one, select it and say delete. Okay, the next thing we are going to do is save it I call this world map blocks point C for D and I'm going to use an extrude NURB. It's over here. I bring it down here and select path two and drag it under the extrude. What you see is that it pa this path is now extruded. But only this path, but I want the whole world to be extruded. So Select all the paths and bring them under the extrude. 
you see only one is getting extruded. So go to the extrude NURB, go to object and select Hyrora kill. Now everything is extruded and this is how it looks like. Quite nice. Now I'm going to create a new material, new material, double click. I call it zero one. I remove the reflectance. I go to color. And what I did, I exported 25 videos to show in all these different areas. So I select texture, load image, and I go to the desktop sound bytes 01.mov. I open it, I don't copy it, and I click on the file on the image here, go to animation and change it to 24 frames a second. Now I drag this up to the extrude NURB and what you will see is this. Okay, let's go to the settings over here. Full HD 9020 by 1080, 24 frames a second. And if we play this, it will look like this. So you see some movement, which is really nice. And what I want to do now, I want to uh, make 25 different videos in the different areas. So I'm going to duplicate this a few times. Copy, paste, 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 paste. Call this 02, 03, etc. Okay, let's use seven different now for now. So the second one will be 02. Don't copy it. Click on it. And bring the animation to 24. The third one will be 03. No. Click on it. 24. So I'm going to remove all the paths and copy this extrude NURB seven times. Yeah, this one I delete. Zero one, zero seven. I bring one over here, two over there, three over there. Four, five, six, and seven. And now I select a few, bring them under one. I drag this down, select another few, select them, bring them under zero, two, a few more under three. A few more under four, a few more under five, a few more under six, a few more under seven, and a few more under again seven. Okay, if we go closer to over here. And say render. You'll see that the view is a little bit small. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to 7. Bring this up again. Press it once. So I will change the size here. I can do it over here. I think I should bring this to 60 and then copy this, go to the others and paste this. So right now everything is better in view. What we can do, create a new material, call it luminance, 
no color, only luminance, and it can be red, 200, very bright. Drag it up over here, like this, drag it in front of that, then go to the second material, say C1. What you see at the side, maybe in the back, everything is becoming red, which is really nice in my opinion. So, you can do it everywhere. <laughs> Press Command, hold it, and then drag everything. Drag it back, back, and say C1, 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 and C1. And the last one. C1. We can make a camera, target camera. The target will be in the middle, of course, if we select it, activate it. We can zoom out. And then go to the settings by pressing Command or Control D. Go to 24 frames. Uh, make it 150, 150, and then we can go make a keyframe with the camera. Go to minus a thousand. Press Command and this button, so it will make a keyframe. Go to frame 150, change it to zero, and do a new command click. And then you have this. It is way too slow in my opinion, but you can play around with the settings. I'll show you what you can do with these kinds of tricks. And if you follow the other tutorial about the web deformer, then you can create something like this. Thanks for your time. I wish you the best and maybe I see you next time. If you want to, you can subscribe, but feel free. Have a nice day. Adios.